What I do all day is that I'm constantly switching tabs, I'm constantly switching windows because I use Slack, I use Gmail, I use ChatGPT, I use Google Drive, Google Sheets, Trello, you name it. And I'm literally just wasting my time, all right, until I found this. It's called Rube, and Rube is a lifesaver. Rube is my super personal assistant that can essentially do anything from me from one chat. As you can see on the screen right now, 500 apps in one chat. Now, what does this mean? Well, you can order whatever you want from Rube to do in other apps. That's just beautiful. And today, I'm gonna show you how it works. So Rube here connects AI to more than 500 apps. You can work from just one place, and it's just like you having a personal assistant that's gonna do everything inside of all of the other apps. You control all your digital tools in one place. For example, I trade with some stocks in my free time, and whenever I want an update, from my favorite site, I can use Rube in order to get the latest info, the latest update, to put that in my Google Sheets and then get that Google Sheet and send it over to my Slack, all right? But it gets even more powerful than that. Rube, well, it lets you update your CRM, schedule meetings, manage tasks seamlessly, all with the help of AI. And the best part is that there is zero technical setup. If you click the link down there, they will lead you through it. And today I'll show you the workflow. You just say what you wanna do in plain English and Rube will do it for you. For example, it can find you emails in the last, let's just say 48 hours and to summarize important ones, or you can make Rube go through your emails and find all the spending that you have done in the last month or so and to create a table of it. Or it can go over and identify recurring subscriptions. For example, if you use many of these tools, like, I don't know, Canva, Spotify, Netflix, whatever you use, and it can alert you on unusual charges as well. Now, if you click the link down there, you're gonna land here. And if you head over to the marketplace here, you can see all the apps that it works with. So for example, Gmail, GitHub, Notion, Twitter, Slack, whatever, YouTube. You can even use this for social media research purposes to identify trends. And here on the left, you've got plenty of these categories. So for example, if you are into finance like I am, well, you can integrate it with Stripe. You can pay your team this way. If you are into crypto, you can connect to, to some of the crypto sites to give you clear updates, market data, and of course, you can use Rube to put all that into a spreadsheet so you just have it all in one place. Now, as I've told you, the setup is really, really easy. You just go and click on install Rube here, and then you choose the platform. For example, you can connect it right away to ChatGPT, or you can connect it to your WhatsApp. It all can be done with one simple click. Just click on this button here, chat with Rube, then just give some permissions, open the link with your WhatsApp on your desktop, for example, and immediately it, this is gonna open up in your chat window and it's gonna give you the link to just connect your account first. And of course, just give the permission, allow the access. And as you can see now, we've got Rube here. You can chat with it. Of course, you can use it on your mobile, mobile device. So how can you help me, Rube? Just send this message and then you will have the WhatsApp connected to it. The same goes with all the other ones. It's really, really good, but what I use it on is mostly ChatGPT because first of all, it's got the developer mode, but on top of it, they've got custom GPT, and all you have to do is to click here on this, visit Rube custom GPT, and it's gonna bring you here where you can just start using Rube right away, completely for free if you wanna use the basic apps, but if you want the full access to more than 500, actually 600 apps, it's gonna be $20 per month if you choose the annual version, and for the monthly version, it's gonna be 25. Let me just show you how this works. So I use this a lot. I create my Google Sheets because as I've told you, I'm in two stocks and I use this on a regular basis. And all you have to do is to choose which one of these tools you wanna to connect it to. 
So when your account is connected, all you gotta do is to make yourself an account. You can just use your Google email if you just wanna test it out and then just confirm that a Rube wants to talk to it. So these connectors in ChatGPT can, well, Rube can be one of them. And all you gotta do is to give it permissions, right? The first time you use it, you're gonna have to give it a permission for whatever you're trying to connect, for example, Slack or Google Sheets or your Gmail. And then you just let Rube do its job. As you can see, it created the Google Sheet. You can open the Google Sheet with this link here. It's always gonna give you the link so you don't have to switch tabs yourself. And when it comes to permissions, I see that some people are always concerned when they give these. But if you go to the FAQ section on Rube, and if you click here on this one right here, you can see that Composio is fully compliant and it inherits all of the security guarantees. So you don't have to worry about you giving permissions to Rube. I trust it myself. I use it for a lot of, lot. I use it a lot until now and never had any issues with it. So what else can Rube do? Rube, well, honestly, it's for a lot of use cases. You can use your imagination or you can just go and see how you can integrate it within your workflow. But there are some examples here. You can see you can use it to search and discover things. You can use it for AI image generation, for broad browser automation, or you can build yourself custom workflows. And this is where its true power can be seen when it connects few of these apps, connects them all, and in the end delivers the final result. So this is how Rube looks like on its website. And for example, you can use it to find me a flight to New York and share it to my Slack, or you can just check what's the latest in your Slack. So do you have any unread messages? The same goes with emails here. All in all, it's a powerhouse. The best for you right now is to click the link down there, play with it for a bit, find your favorite apps, connect them with Rube, and just see how you can integrate this to your own workflow and how much it can help you. Once again, the link is going to be down there. Wish you good luck and I'll catch you on the next one.